with our anchor chain, apparently we just took up an octopus. What? Yeah, a little microscopic guy. Little guy right here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Uh, Isn't it the cutest thing in the world? This thing is adorable. Oh, it's crawling all over your finger. <laughs> Aw. Sorry, we would love to play with you more, but I know you want to get back in the water. <laughs> yeah, I just looked down and all of a sudden there's something crawling up here. I'm like, what the heck is that? Octopus. Little baby octopus. How cool is that? Well, that just sealed the trip. It's awesome. Yep, <laughs> can't beat it. <laughs> baby octopus. <laughs> This morning we are back on the island of Koh Chang. We went to switch out boats at the Island Spirit base. It turns out that um, kind of like a last minute booking came in. They needed the boat we were on. So they put us on basically the same version, just a different one. And now we are in the neighboring harbor of Bang Bao. It's a nice little fishing village on the southern end of town. Something I had wanted to check out anyway and it will be a good place for us to provision once again since we're about halfway through this charter and uh, yeah this is a place that you go for seafood somehow I have a feeling that we're gonna get pad thai but uh, yeah it'll be just be kind of nice after a week away to get back into civilization for just a few hours get a nice meal stock up our fridge again definitely need some more beverages we've been drinking liquids like crazy here and um, then we'll up anchor and go to a new spot for the night and probably hunt more waterfalls and good snorkeling spots with the rest of our week. bringing the dinghy a little further into shore to dock but I had him drop me off at the end of the pier and it's just so cool it's absolutely what you would expect from Thailand all these like brightly colored boats uh, kind of carved woodwork uh, <laughs> it's nice and music pumping and we're not sure where these ferries go um, don't know if they're just like going to some of the neighboring islands uh, but we've seen a few of them head out of the harbor and they were jam-packed. So, um, yeah, I don't know if there's kind of like tours that go out in the water and uh, bring you around so you can kind of see the sights from there or if they're actually like purpose ferries getting you just from one location to the other, but definitely cool stop. So can't wait to see what shore here has to offer us. in uh, Caribbean, so it's actually very nice. It's a well-built pier. You can tell there's a lot of commercial fishing that goes on around here, and all the tour boats that go out and ferries from island to island. Oh, beautiful spot, though. It is very pretty. Yeah. They do such a good job of keeping these things painted and lively and fun. Now that is what every boat needs, is a nice water slide dumping you right out into these gorgeous waters. I'd ride on that boat. Man, these things look so fun. 
They have uh, some of them have fishing poles on them too, so apparently you can go out and fishing charters on them. Yeah, I think they're like fishing, snorkeling, just kind of day trips. Slides. Yes, that would be my favorite part. Definitely come across the markets here in Bang Bao, which is so nice because it's all covered in right now. The sun has just come out, it seems like, as soon as we got the dinghy in the water, which always happens. And so we get to like walk through these areas and it's covered and then each side is shops and restaurants, so pretty much everything you can need. I need to get Matt a hat today because <laughs> he's been burning lately. So the goal is going to be, I think, lunch, get Matt a hat. So my goal is mm -hmm. a Gilligan hat. You're not in focus. I'm going to focus here. Oh, okay. I want a, I want a Gilligan hat. So that's going to be what we're searching out. Yep. Yeah. Something, something that covers my eyes, my face. Don't see much. No sun. Don't want to see that face. Oh, that's big. Or are they their lobster? I don't know. They look like praying mantis. Does it? Yeah, it kind of does. I think it's, it's a large praying mantis. Definitely be the place to go for fresh fish. Even though we're in a seafood port, pork is worth that. I got mixed seafood pad thai with a mango shake, bendy straw and all. You've got squid, octopus. Yeah. Fun. Not for you. Nope. I'll <laughs> stick with pork. Well, it looks like we came to the right area for fresh seafood. Um, normally when we see like a seafood pad thai in menus, it's just shrimp that's added. I don't see any shrimp in here, but I've got things like squid, octopus, um, and a scallop, which is a real treat because they're delicious. So very good meal, mango shake, awesome. And the best part is like all of this, and this is a nice place. I mean, they've got the good vibes on the water. $7 US. So definitely can't complain about traveling through here, throwing down an extra few dollars from like a regular $3 lunch to splurge on something like seafood and mango shakes, so. Yesterday we went to Bang Bao, and uh, I think I'll tell you to pronounce it properly, um, and got provisions. Really all we got, we got bread, Coca-Cola, important stuff, and uh, eggs. Lots of eggs, 30 eggs. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything for dinners. Um, when we originally started this, we thought we were going to be going ashore every single night and getting dinners from like little local places. Uh, we found out that the islands that we like are big resorts. They don't really have the roadside things. Big resorts, they have great food, but the food is three times the price of what like the little roadside stands are. So it's kind of hard for us to justify going to shore every single night, so we need to find something for dinner. So today, we're on Comac again, and we're going to trek across the island, uh, like real explorers, across paper roads, uh, and go get us something to eat for the next week, basically. We had anchored ourselves on the northwest side of Comac, 
and according to our guides, the grocery marts were on the southwest side of the island. The plan was to bring the dinghy to shore where we were and use the main roads that crossed from one side to the other to make a quick run down before the day became too hot and humid for long walks. Oh my gosh, check out these spiders. Can I get it like in the frame at all? Uh. That is huge. Can you get a perception of how big they are? Oh, those things are nasty. There's the... So like hand size. It really is. <laughs> there are some big ugly spiders around here. <laughs> I'm not getting real close. <laughs> I know. But, but he's pretty idea. close. Yeah. And there's the other one over here. That is one big ass spider. Something like Matt's least favorite thing, rubbers. Well, we haven't quite seen this before. This is rubber trees. Um, I know they do it in South America all over the place, but uh, they do it apparently here as well. So they tap the little trees. You can see kind of little cups on it to catch the rubber uh, and then produce whatever tires. Yeah. Us being from the north, we're used to these being like maple trees yeah. being tapped. Yeah, you tap maple trees, you don't tap rubber trees where we're from. So yeah. it is kind of cool to see the difference though. Yeah. Seems to be a popular hangout here. Lots of motorcycles and bicycles. Yeah, there's a lot more stuff. It's a, a hostel too. Live music, seven to nine. Well, we got a bit more of a walk. I think we took the long way. <laughs> we, we took the long way? We did take the long way. Yep, and now it's getting hot. Yeah, past like 30 minutes, the temperature's risen quite a bit. <laughs> So, if we can find an air-conditioned 7-Eleven, Matt will be in heaven. He would be thanking heaven for 7-Eleven. And maybe we need Back a base. to the flippy flops. Yep. Just after you got new sneakers, too. Yeah. Did we find a mini mart? Yes. Did we find meat? If you count a cooler full of fish, yes. Not exactly what we're looking for, I know. Don't hate us, we're not huge fish people. So we're going to try a few more stops, but we might just be eating like <laughs> grilled ham and cheese uh, sandwiches for dinner or ramen noodles for a couple of days, which you know us, we're totally fine with that. And I think in a few days, we might make our way back to the big island of Koh Chang to visit a few places. And we know that we can either get street food there or the marts. Um, and they've also got some bigger grocery stores with the kind of like meals we could prepare. So those are our options, but either way, you know, we're never gonna starve, so we're fine. Just have to see exactly what all of our options are. <laughs> So, Success. we found it. Matt found it, actually. It's funny, it's a market that we came to the first time we were here because we ended up picking up salt there. Um, tried it again? Yeah. And it had everything. So frozen-ish pork. Uh, it was semi-frozen, so hopefully it's fairly new. Uh, and then bacon. Yes, oh my gosh. Bacon yep. and eggs, we're gonna have a good old time with that. Yep. And then four potatoes, regular baked potatoes, bacon potatoes. 
Uh, Some, what we think is close to like zucchini. We'll find out when we cut into it. Yep. And that was it. And then two sodas ended up being about 15 bucks. So 15 not, bucks US, so. Yep. Not too shabby. Yeah. It's hot out and we want this food to get cold fast. So we're gonna get back to the boat, probably have lunch there, then get the anchor up and head to another island for a couple days of snorkeling and fun. And hopefully this time we're not taking the long way back to the dinghy. So, but all in all, a pretty successful day. Matt found his wrecking ball. Push me. <laughs> Gonna hurl. <laughs> Gonna bomb. It's just a spin. <laughs> Should I take my turn? Oh. oh this is fine. Okay, now it's fine. Yeah. Fun for the day. Just got ourselves attached to the mooring buoy here. Um, I think we'll be ready for a sundowner soon and ready to throw those baked potatoes on the grill to start cooking. And tonight we're gonna have a yummy, yummy dinner of pork chops. I'm looking forward to it. And a big thanks to Island Spirit Yacht Charters for hooking us up with this Island Spirit 380 for our time in the Ko Chung area. Mm -hmm. 